Slate. Hey, Moses. Did you win? I won. Hi, sailor. Did you win? I won. Most popular member of the Trinidad Hotel Owners Association, fourth annual stag breakfast luau. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good party, huh? Oh, sailor, when they announced the awards, I received so many of these that they had to send somebody in after me. I'm not so sure they should have found you. Oh, what a thing to say. <clears throat> Oh, my. She's been hanging around all morning, John. Getting sick of it. Good morning, Mrs. Baker. I could make you very happy, Mr. Shannon. Now, look. Yes, dear? Why are you blushing? Haven't you ever been proposed to before? A man like you. Would you stay out of this? Now, Mrs. Baker, it's very kind of you to want to marry me, but... Uh... Your trousseau's an apple pie order, dear. Your T-shirts are mended, and your socks are all fluffy dry. And you know that your turtlenecks have been made big enough to let your head in. Mrs. Baker, could I see that picture again? Oh, of course, dear. Bella's going to get married. He has to have somebody give him away. Slate, I'll give you away. Mrs. Baker, take him. To the victor belong the spoils. Mrs. Baker. Yes, dear. I was recommended? By the Lonely Hearts Club. By Darby and Joan. They, they gave me this picture of you, and you're everything that I thought you'd be. You're more. You're much more. Do you have any idea at all how my picture got into the files of the uh, Darby and Joan? Lonely Hearts Club. Well, I suppose the way all pictures do, I mean, you're... You're a lonely heart, and you register, and you have your picture taken, and they put it on file. Well, there are lots of pictures down there. Why don't you and I just be good friends, huh? No, you don't understand. You see, I'm a widow. I'm a lonely, unhappy widow. My husband was killed in that big hurricane a few years back, and I grieved for a long time. But now my loneliness has become more unbearable than my grief. And you're the first man I've ever met that could possibly replace me. Now do you understand? Miss Baker, I'm sorry. I really am, but... Well, I can't marry you. I see. You see, as far as that picture is concerned... Yes, I'd, I'd like to know about that. Well, I don't know. I don't have any idea at all how that picture got into the files of the Darby and Joan Lonely Hearts Club. Now, I said I'm sorry, and believe me, I really am. And, uh, well, I, I think somebody must have played a joke, a cruel joke. And believe me, if I should find out who did this, I... I think of that before. Think of what? I don't know where that picture came from. Where? Well, come on. Now, if you would just give me your name and address. But it would be a simply beautiful picture, and for only two shillings. You? Do me. All right. <laughs> later, later. You remember me? Look, are you going to take my picture or aren't you? There's a chubby little redhead down the street who would love my business, and I could. You could, but please don't. Just give me five seconds. Why should I remember you? A couple of weeks ago, you took my picture. I was walking down Avenue or Al, and you snapped it. I remember saying to myself at the time, it's funny that you didn't ask me for a couple of shillings or my name or address on either the picture you just gave that girl I walked by. I said it was funny and I forgot it. <laughs> Fill out your name and address. I and said I... it was funny and I forgot it. Now I think it's important. And I want to know why you did that. <laughs> You've got the wrong artist, my friend. Look, you want to eat this camera, Buster? Hmm? <laughs> Let me tell you something. I don't know what you're talking about or what your problem is. But I know what mine is. 
I'm a coward. So start knocking me around until the cops come and I won't raise a hand. I'll scream, maybe, but I won't raise a hand. And I still don't know what you're talking about. You handled that beautifully. Now... I used tact. Do me now. I love the way you handle your camera. Hi. I'm John Wallace. Can I help you? Well, I'm Slade Shannon, and I think you can. Well, if you'll be good enough to fit out one of these, you'll find table and pens there. Thank you. Yes? Oh, oh, the reason I came in here was because... Because you're a lonely heart, Mr. Shannon. Well, welcome to Darby and Joan. From here on in, your problems will be replaced by a bevy of whatever you like. Blonde or brunette, Mr. Shannon? Tall? Short? Kidnish? Do you have one who uh, bakes bread the way Mother used to? Better. You know what? What? You don't look like a joiner. Not a lonely heart club joiner. What do I look like? Would you like to come in? But well, I'm glad he didn't vault over the railing. The last gentleman I asked in vaulted. Now he's in a corset. Well, now that I'm in here and I'm still on my feet, what are the club rules? Why don't you sit down? Rule number one. We find out if we have a common interest. Oh, that's a good rule. Good, because we do have a common interest. I knew it. And her name is Mary Baker. And her name is Mary Baker. Your turn. No, it's still your turn. Well, having found a common interest, we come to rule number two. Which is? Have a hobby together. A secret sharing. Oh, something over which we can giggle silently. Oh, that rule number two is a zinger. <laughs> but let's get back to Mary Baker, huh? Coward. Why did you give her my picture? Rule number three... And what was my picture doing here in the first place? There's a club rule number three that makes you never want to quit. Well, if you want to jolly, let's do that for a couple of minutes. That's fine, but we're going to have to get back to the questions I just asked. I can see we're not going to get along at all. I can recommend Miss Johnson. She's not very beautiful. No, she isn't. But she crochets the most amazing things. Well, would she know how my picture got here? You have to hit him so hard. That's the way you hit people with a gun. Well, get him out of here. I can't stand to see him looking like that. Yes. Hopeless. He's not that kind of a man. I'll find him a gutter. I'll throw him away. You won't have to look at him, honey. I may never tell it all. I would, Shannon. I really would. Me too, Mr. Slate. Slate, please. Where'd you get that? From Mrs. Baker. What are you doing here, Inspector? Investigating a homicide. Mary Baker? Hmm. Strangled, Shannon. Found at the beach about an hour ago. With my picture on her. Tell me why I shouldn't hold you for murder. here, Inspector, is a little consideration, a little gentleness. I believe the matter of Slate Shannon versus the Trinidad authorities is beyond gentleness. Well, I agree, too. 
lonely, pathetic woman is killed. Uh, there's nothing gentle about that. Perhaps you can tell me why your picture was found with her. Well, it's simple. She picked it up off the rack at Darby and Joan. Mary Baker was never registered as a lonely heart with Darby and Joan. Oh, you chaps found that out, huh? Our chaps did. Perhaps you'd better come along. Now, Inspector... It come was... along, Shannon. Inspector, may I have a moment? Of course, dear. When did this happen? Does the precise time have any importance? Well, no, because whenever it was, Slate was with me, and what he was doing wasn't what you said he did. No? No? Slate, I'm not your wife. My testimony will stand up in any court in the world. Isn't that right, Inspector? Yes. Are you quite sure? Have you ever known when I wasn't with Slate? Practically never, dear. By my side every minute. Practically. Nothing foolish, Shannon. I think I'm beginning to like it here. Keep it that way till you hear from us. Goodbye. Oh, knucklehead. The things that go on in there. Good head. Mm -hmm. Good, good head. Good, good. You know what I got here, King Moses? I got a treasure. I got a girl with a golden brain. As I've often tried to point out to you, Mr. Slate. Murder rap in my mouth covers up for me. Who needs a mouthpiece when you got a girl like that on you? Oh! Where are you going? That's a very good question. Now, wait a minute. Don't give me any of that jazz. Where are you going? Well, that's the jazz you give me when you go out alone. Oh, that's different. When I go out alone, it's because... Oh! You get clobbered. That happened to Darby and Joan? Yeah. I was going over the club bylaws with Joan, and wham, I got it from behind. It hurts, huh? Yeah. Tell you what you do, sweetie. What? Go soak it. Just thinking, Moses. Not so long ago, they were wearing bloomers. <laughs> what a coincidence. I was just working on you. I've got good timing, Halloween. Huh, the first pose you struck for me, I said to myself, there's a subject with timing. Oh, and you would know all about that, too, wouldn't you? To the split second. At the sidewalk photographer's ball, I was voted Mr. 1-100 at F9. I beg your pardon? The fellows get together. We talk shop. How did you find me, Miss Duval? I went back to the sidewalk where you took pictures of me this afternoon, and I asked, where was that handsome devilish chap with the camera? And? And someone told you. Mm -hmm. A little boy. Cost me ten shillings. But I think it's worth twice that now that I'm here. What are you building, little monkey? Me building? Monkey? Don't con me. Girl like you don't need it. Girl like you just says right out what she wants and a man will break his back to give it to her. Unless he's a fool. Well, the picture that you took of Slate Shannon. That's what I want. You just broke my back, little monkey. I don't think I'm getting through to you, Louise. That picture's got murder in it now. Slate needs it. Murder? I hear someone say murder? You heard me say it. And what you need is a sidewalk snapshot of your fellow shack? Yes. I'll do better than that. The shop, stock, equipment, files, all yours. Have you flipped? All I want is the picture, Louise. You got it, baby. I get hired to do a photograph. Suddenly it's dipped in murder. So me, I titter in sidewalk artist that I am, I'm off for the other Caribbean Isles. But... And the little ladies thereof, who I am told are happy in the belief that a picture is worth a thousand words. Adios, muchacha. Louis! Still no better, Mr. Slate? 
it still ring and bang inside your skull? Perhaps I better call a doctor, Mr. Slate. No, don't call any doctor. What I need is peace and quiet. And I'll get that if you just tippy-toe out of here. Lady Sailor were here. She would soothe your head and make it even again. Well, she's... She's not here. No, she is not here. Well, why isn't she? Perhaps if you took more interest in her arrivals and her departures. You talk about her like she was some silver-winged bird or something. Well, isn't she? Yeah, she is. Little kook. Little kook flying around somewhere when she ought to be home caged. A suggestion Lady Sailor has often made to you, Mr. Slate. What? Marriage. She Will you get out of here? You need therapy, man. You got it right under your nose and you don't know it. You... Huh? You see her, Sailor? You see what she's doing? Yeah, I see. She's pointing you out. What's so unusual about that, a Trinidad site like you? Lady Tourist... That's oh. no Lady Tourist knucklehead. That's Joan of Darby and Joan. Joan, huh? Yeah. Well, no lonely heart, she and that off the shoulder. And what she's doing is putting the finger on a pigeon. Dead pigeon, Shannon. Oh. Suggestion, sailor, never turn your head on this character. I already have. And you didn't get clobbered? No. Beginner's luck. And where did all this take place? Where the little lady here purloined that photograph you were looking at. That's Larson. Two little heads together. It's tempting. But first, give me back the picture, huh, Shannon? Sure. Well, uh, you've got a gun, and I've got the lumps to prove it, so would you mind indulging me, huh? Sure. Has that picture got anything to do with Mary Baker's death? Yeah, it has. And now you're going to kill us? Have to. Well, I don't know about Sailor, but personally, I hate to die puzzled. So what about Mary Baker? I mean, a, a nice housewife like that? Maybe she was a bad cook. Well, she seemed like such a nice, gentle person. Talked a lot. You know what I think, Frank? I think you've been through a lot of important things. Oh, things like uh, stormy marriages and hurricanes and... Oh, by the way, you ever been in a hurricane? Yeah, once. Big one. Great big one. Made me turn on hurricanes. Sailor... I want you to meet Frank Baker. Mary's husband? The same. The one who was killed in the hurricane? Oh, you see, sweetie, there were lots of husbands lost, but not this one. This one just led his wife to believe that he was dead. And after a time, he followed her to Trinidad because he had an angle. Isn't that right, Frank? Well, let's just assume that I'm right. Now, who figured out the angle, you or Joan? The minute I laid eyes on her, on Joni, my brain began to click with angles. Same thing happened to you, too, didn't it, Shannon? She's that kind of a woman. And now that you're back among the living, you were going to lay claim to Mary's estate, and then you and Joan can... Me and Joni live off the fat of the moon. Now you may turn your backs. It's better that way, kiddies, believe me. Mr. Slate, my guitar in here. Don't move. Well, well, you're gonna do lots of killings tonight, Frank. There's three of us here, and how about all those people in the lobby, particularly that big one coming in? King. If he moves, Bounce him up against the wall, okay? Honey, call the inspector, will you?
if I get in? She doesn't mind at all. Dance with Senora Fanstead here. She's the one with the money belt. Remember me? Mm -hmm. I like you better this way. On your feet. Come to renew your application? No, I'm just going to tease you about that. Any way you want it. I brought you something. You don't have to bribe me. Oh, look. It's a picture. You and me in the same picture. Home movies. We'll make a million of them. <laughs> now, look, look, there's you pointing your finger at a pigeon. Me. He brought you back. Works better than salt. Now, why did you do that? I wanted you for my album. I stay up late nights for my album. But why pick me? A girl like you can get any tall guy you want. I thought you were a man in the crowd. Now I know better. You didn't make this the last time around, did we? No. Just about now, I should get a hit on a head. Jealous customer. We get all kinds. Oh? Relax, Slate. This time there won't be any hurt in it. Yeah? Just like you say. Sweetie. Thank you. Oh, I've got to. You see, your boy, sweetie, your boy Frank Baker. Don't talk. Well, he's probably right down at headquarters right now, spilling everything you and he did to his wife. Well, that's right. See, he called for this picture. And I had Sailor, uh, Miss Duval, she's the one who got the picture. I had her call the cops. He should have killed you. Shall we finish this dance before we go to the police, or shall we... Uh... Let's finish the dance. What again, moon boy? South Seas, PD. What were you doing there? Oh, I was beached there. You liked it? It was under just such a moon that I was made a Moratiki. A Moratiki? Mm, that's an honor given to very few sailors. And the ceremony that attends it. Breathtaking, huh? Oh, little do you know. You see, the chief's daughter and two handmaidens took me out to sea in an open raft. Then they threw me in the water. Then they came in after me. Then they threw me in the water. They came in after me. This went on for hours. Oh, I was numb, I can tell you. Moon boy. Hmm? Anything like that in the South Seas? Or that? Or that? Oh, sailor. Thank you. 